Hello students, today we will learn about application of algebraic identities. In my previous video, we have learned about the identities. If you want to watch that video, link will be provided in the description box. You can check out that video. Now, we can see here there are four basic identities and we need to learn how to use these identities to factorize the algebraic expressions. First, we need to learn about these identities that the first identity says that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. The second identity says that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Third identity says that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b. And fourth identity says that x plus a and x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. Now the question is what is the use of identities? It gives alternative method of multiplying binomials or numbers. In these identities you can see that binomials are multiplied with the same binomial or other binomial. Here you can see that in these first two identities that is a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square uh, binomial is multiplied with the same binomial while in these two identities a square minus b square and x plus a and x plus b binomial is multiplied with other binomial. Now let's see that how we can use or apply these identity to factorize algebraic expressions. Here we have taken one algebraic expression that is 64a square minus 25b square. Now we need to see that out of these identities, these four identities, which identity will be applied here to factorize this expression. So you can see here 64a square minus 25b square. There are two terms in this expression. The first term is a square of a number and variable while the last term or other term is also a square of a number and variable and there is a negative sign between these two numbers. You can see that 64a square minus 25b square will be factorized by using one of these identities. You can see here uh, the similar kind of identity, identity is a square minus b square. As you can see, a square is also a square of a and while there is a b square also, square of b and there is a negative sign. So, we will use this identity to factorize 64a square minus 25b square. So, we will write here by using identity a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b. We will factorize 64a square minus 25b square. Let's write the uh, square root of 64a square that is 8a whole square negative sign and 5b whole square. Here you can see that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b. The same way we will factorize uh, 8a whole square minus 5b whole square. So we will write 8a and in this bracket we will write negative sign and then 5b bracket over in another bracket 8a now positive sign and 5b. So, the factors of 64a square minus 25b square by using the identity a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b. We can write that 8a minus 5b and 8a plus 5b. Now, we will take one more example x square plus 12x plus 36. Now, to factorize this expression, algebraic expression, we will use one of these identities. So, we can see here x square, there is a square of the first term 
and in just look at the last term also uh, that is also a square of uh, a number that is 6 6 square is 36 and there is a middle term also that is 12x so uh, you can see that similar kind of uh, identity a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square we can use here as there is a plus sign in uh, with the middle term here also plus sign with the middle term so we will use a plus b whole square to factorize x square plus 12x plus 36 so we will write by using identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square here we will write x whole square plus as there is a 2 in middle term so we will write 2 a it means the square root of the first term so here x and b square root of the last term so square root of 36 is 6 and plus square root of the last term and we will write here we can write x square plus 6 twos are 12x and plus 6 square. So here we can write x plus 6 whole square. Let's take third example. 4x square minus 32xy plus 64y square for x square minus 32xy plus 64y square so here look at the first term 4x square is a square root uh, of 4x square is 2x and there is a square again the, in the last term that is 64y square and square root of 64y square is 8y just look at these identities and just check which identity can be used so we can say that here there is a minus sign and there are three terms so we will use a minus b whole square identity so by using by using the identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square we can write here so 2x square minus 2 as 2 is given here square root of first term that is 2x square root of last term that is 8y and again square root of the last term and then square so you can 2 2 is a 4 4 8 is a 32 xy can be written as middle term so now we will write in bracket 2x square root of the first term negative sign and square root of the last term 8y whole square Now let's take four example, fourth example uh, that is a square minus 3a minus 40. So the first term is square of a variable but the last term is not the square of any number. So we will use this identity x plus a and x plus b. So by using the identity x plus a and x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b. We can write here a square here plus a plus b a plus b it means we will factorize 40 in such a way 
that if we will do addition or subtractor uh, subtraction answer will be minus 3 so we can write 8 5 is 40 and minus 8 plus 5 is equal to minus 3 so i will write here 5 minus 8 a minus 40 so a square plus 5 minus h a minus 40 so if i have to factorize it i can write a square plus 5 a minus 8 a minus 40 let's take the common by making the groups here a square plus 5a so a is common we will take out the common a outside of the bracket we will write a plus 5 and here in 8a and minus 40 minus 8 will be common so i can write in the bracket a plus 5 so here a plus 5 we will write as common while in another bracket we will write a minus 8 so a square minus 3a minus 40 are is having factors a plus 5 and a minus 8.